Hey guys, so in this video, I'm finally going to be building Iron Man with the Nano Gauntlet whenever he's snapping his fingers. So, the blocks you're going to need, we'll start off with the wool. You're going to need gray wool, yellow, light blue, cyan, and light gray. And then for concrete, you're going to need black lime gray cyan and light blue white light gray yellow red and magenta and for terracotta we are going to need the gray terracotta white terracotta, red, and yellow. We're also going to need snow, and the like prismarine, uh, sea lantern, yeah. So that's basically all the blocks. And also before anybody gets angry. Um, I know that these statues are spaced differently. Like these are these are eight in width, I believe. And these are only two. Because these are part of my old statue series before I like revamped and made all the new ones. So anyways. Um getting on with the statue. I'm gonna need to redo the inventory a little bit. I'm gonna need we're gonna need both reds, both yellows. Gonna need black concrete, the sea lantern, the snow, and that's about good for now. To start, we're gonna do two rows of red concrete, like that. We're gonna do four rows of red terracotta. Then we're going to come back in with the black concrete. We're going to delete these four blocks on the bottom and the same ones on the top. Like that. And then we're going to do six rows of yellow terracotta. Take the yellow concrete, delete these four blocks, not that one. Delete these four blocks at the top, fill them in. We're gonna hit out the two right underneath the middle. And then we're also going to go right above this black concrete, knock out two blocks. Like that. Just have something like that. And then we're gonna go up diagonally on either side. And that is the legs. So I'm going to go ahead and build all parts of the legs instead of just doing the front. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sides. I'm going to do black concrete right here. Like that. Actually, I think it would be better like this. Then we're going to take the red terracotta, go all along the back. And kind of fill in until you get to the yellow terracotta so about here then we're going to fill this in with the yellow terracotta on either side Then I'm going to take the red. I'm going to use the red concrete, knock out these four blocks. The same on this side. 
it's not right. There it is. And this side is the one where he's going to be holding the gauntlet. Because he's got it on his right hand instead of the left hand that Thanos usually has it on. I'm pretty sure that's right. If I'm wrong, somebody roast me in the comments. I don't mind. I'm pretty sure that's right. For the back of the legs, we're going to just gonna fill this in with yellow terracotta like so there we go and knock out these two blocks replace them with the yellow concrete then we're gonna go down three diagonally from it just like that also gonna hit out these two middle blocks and replace them with red concrete and that is the legs those are the legs and this does look kinda weird how it's kind of like out of like it looks like he's trying to stab them but I built these recently cuz they didn't transfer whenever I put my world on the PC so it's whatever I'm not rebuilding them um it'll just look funky anyways I guess we can go ahead and do the back actually, it might be easier. So for the back, I'm going to do one row of red concrete. This is not concrete. Do one row of red concrete, like that. Go up with the red on either side. They're going to actually need the grays. I'll put the sea lantern right there because we'll use that in a second. I'm going to need the yellow wool. I'm going to take the yellow concrete on either thing right here. Place a block. I'm going to go up two more blocks. So one, two, one, two. Then I'm going to take the yellow wool, place a block on top of that. Go with the yellow terracotta, block on top of that. Then we're going to go left with the concrete and then right with the concrete on this one. Under this, we're going to fill in with the light gray concrete. And they're also going to put a block in the middle like that. We're going to go back to the red concrete. Fill this in until you get to the yellow. When you get to the yellow, go up two on either side. In the middle, we're going to hit it with the red terracotta. And then make like a T-shape. Then we're going to make an elongated U like that with the red concrete go back to the yellow do a square in the middle yellow terracotta on either side extend it by one like that and then go to the gray concrete and do a block on either side you're gonna go down two and then back to the right and we're gonna the same thing over here two right here and then back to the left and take the red terracotta, go block here, block reflected on the other side, go back to the red, and then fill in the rest, and that's the back. If you need a picture, here's your picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, okay. I was about, I was about to say it kind of looked kind of brown. And then we're going to take the yellow come up with it on either side and then we're just going to fill in with red and then do one more row of red that's the back done and then now I'm going to do his right arm I'm going to do his right arm before we do the gauntlet so for the right arm I come out four with the red concrete and replace these yes these two blocks and then fill this in you're gonna put red right there do three of red right there and then two like that you should have something like that I take the red terracotta, fill in this one block, and then go up two, fill this in with the black concrete, 
And then go back to the red concrete. We're going to do two blocks of gray and then two blocks of red. Just something like that. And then you're going to take the yellow concrete. Two rows. One block at the top and then yellow wool. Then we're going to go to the yellow terracotta. Fill that in until you get to the top. And they're actually going to switch these out for the wool. I'm going to take the gray wool and hit these two blocks out. And then you're going to take the light gray, fill in those. Actually, while we have the gray wool, I'm actually going to replace these two. Just for like contrast or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, now we'll go back to the concrete. So for the, the like middle section of the arm, you're going to do light gray, gray, and then yellow. And then fill this in with yellow terracotta. I'm going to take the light gray, come down, and then to the left, do red, and I fill this in with the red concrete, and then right here, we're going to come back with the light gray concrete, and then we're going to fill the rest in with red, like that, for the back of the arm, it's kind of mirrored, so I'm just going to kind of mirror what I see in front of me. This part is not mirrored, so I'm just going to take that. And then yellow terracotta. Fill it all in. And this part is actually just gray concrete so it's kind of mirrored but it's kind of not actually I think I'm just going to use the gray instead of light gray and gray and then for the top I'm just going to fill it in with the yellow terracotta like that and then now for the nano gauntlet arm I'm going to start on the top. Yeah, I'm going to start on the top. So, I'm actually going to just go ahead and extend this. Like that, so I have something to build off of. I just extended it with the red. You can really do it with any block. But, I'm going to switch these out for the wools. I'm going to do gray and then light gray. Yellow terracotta. And I'm going to come down three. So one, two, three. Go to the right one. I'm going to do light gray and gray. Go back to the yellow terracotta. Do a square like that. Then I'm going to go to the yellow wool. Place one there. And actually, for the electrified type of like, you know, he's he's got the energy pulsing through him. I'm going to do... Cyan. Right here. I'm going to go to the blue, or the light blue wool. Place it right there. And then I'm going to come in with the light blue concrete. Place the yellow there. Uh, light blue concrete right here. Another yellow and light blue and then we're gonna fill this out with the yellow so that's the top part of the arm and then for the bottom part I'm gonna make a diagonal kind of like a 90 degree angle right here 
I'm going to take the cyan, place it right there. I'm going to take the cyan wool, place it right there. And then light blue right here. And then light blue wool right there. Yeah. It doesn't matter too, too much. As long as it kind of looks sporadic. So then on this side, I'm actually going to take the cyan place one right there. And then we're going to go to the red. I'm going to do one here. One here. Go to the left. I'm going to do two blocks. Make a kind of square right here. I'm going to take the gray concrete, place the block right there in the corner. I'm take the red terracotta, place one right there. I'm going to leave a space right here for the stone. I'm going to go to the right. This is going to be red terracotta. I'm going to leave a space right here for the stone and then do red concrete right there. And then going down, I'm going to do two red. Coming with the concrete on either side. Right here, I'm going to use the light gray concrete. I think I'm down to. The red concrete and go over. And then fill it out with the red terracotta so in the stones right here I'm going to use I'm actually going to use instead of the lime I'm going to use freaking emerald um because it looks cool oh yeah kind of looks like the time stone so that's what it is the emerald is actually just a really big time stone I want to see if I can use a different block besides the magenta. I know I can use the diamond block instead of like blue. But is there a kind of magenta block I can use instead? Dude, this kind of looks cool. Um, you can use the magenta. Or probably simpler. But I just like it, making it look like as cool as possible. So. Let's see if I can find some other block I can use. I think I'm going to use the shulker box. Like a magenta shulker box. Yeah. So, I'm going to take that. Place it right there. And then... For the like the back side of the hand. For the blue, I'm gonna use like a diamond. I forgot you can't click on it. And then for the red, let me see. I know there's better red blocks. Use like the nether wart or something. I don't want to use the concrete or terracotta just because you know I've already used them I want it to be like a bright red but I guess I could use red wool ah oh redstone yes and then for the yellow Could use a shulker box or isn't there a honey block? Oh, this one looks crazy. It's kind of not yellow, but it kind of does look like a stone. So I think I'm gonna use that. Oh, it could also use like a jack o' lantern because it's bright. I was gonna say shiny, but that's not really the right word. Could use gold. 
forgot gold was a thing. Yeah, I guess I'll use gold. It's not as interesting, but it's, you know, it's alright. So anyways, I'm um, going to take the red concrete, come down. I'm going to take the yellow concrete, come down too. Take the, uh, instead of cyan, I'm going to use the light blue, like that. Take the light gray concrete, come down one. Blow the cyan, you're going to come down two. Diagonal two. And take the light gray, come up and over two, like that. Take the gray, diagonal one with it, like that. Come up one, diagonal here, and then fill it in with the gray. Fill in the back side with yellow. Then I take the terracotta and fill this top part in. Like that. Fill this top part in, like that. I'm going to leave this open because I'm going to do the same thing like that. And then we're just going to fill the rest of like the elbow in with the red concrete. Like that. And then on this side. I'm going to take the. The wools and such. Um, I'm going to do light blue, go diagonal, and then do cyan, and then do cyan wool, just like that. And then I'm just going to fill the rest in with the red. And then this all will be filled out too. The bottom of this I'm just going to fill out with red. I thought this would be a cool one to have him on his knees and such, but uh, I decided not to go with that just to it'd be a little bit too large. Is that the word? I don't know. Um, they kind of look weird. I don't know how I could have him on his knees. I guess I could do him shorter and then have his legs back, kind of like I'm doing with the elbow, but it, I don't know. I just decided not to do it. You could totally do it. Um, wouldn't be that complicated. I'd say just put these two red blocks on the ground and then build back like his legs back from that you'd have to basically do what I'm doing with the elbow it'd be possible I'm just I'm not lazy I could have done it but I didn't think it would turn out as good so anyways I'm gonna take the red concrete um, come two blocks out like that block on top of that same thing on the other side I'm going to take the red terracotta, fill it up, and then in, and then just kind of repeat this pattern. Like that. And on top of this, I'm going to build a red square. Come out with the red terracotta on either side. Take the black concrete. Come out and down like that we're gonna take the red concrete fill in these two rows I fill in this column with the red I'm gonna go two up with the red on either side and then we're gonna do the same kind of thing with the concrete that we did on the back so I'm gonna do yellow on either side I'm gonna go with the red or not the red the yellow wool right here and then the yellow terracotta right there and then back to the concrete so you should have something like that let's switch to the 
red terracotta. Line in the middle. Red terracotta diagonal from the line. I fill this row in with red concrete. And then I'm gonna take the sea lantern and do like this. Also gonna take these blocks and I'm gonna do this is a cyan. I'm gonna do a cyan diagonal down and then I'm gonna hit out these two in the middle. I'm gonna switch to light blue wool. Do one right here, right there. I'll switch to the cyan wool. I'm gonna do one the left of the light blue and then for the top I'm gonna do light blue wool like that also going to put black concrete on either side of this and the rest we're gonna fill in with red concrete like that So he's got all the energy coursing through him and everything. Of course you could, like I'm going to do, take glass. I just take all the types of glass. Not all the types, all the different shades of blue. And just kind of sporadically place them over these. To make it look like there's like some like static coming off of them. I'm just placing these randomly. As I say, this doesn't have to be 100% accurate to however I'm building it. Because I don't really. I'm not really going off of a uh, specific way that I'm building this. So. Just go at it however you can make it. Again. Or just put the video at 0.25 times speed if you want to make it exactly. But that's too much work for me. So. I wouldn't expect you to do that. Just kind of random, kind of a last minute decision, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I like that. Now for the head, actually now for the back of the arm, we are going to basically not even basically, we're going to 100% do everything we did over there. Um, except this one would be a little bit easier because his elbow is kind of bent. Just going to fill that in with the red. Take yellow. Fill this in. Two blocks right here. Take the terracotta. Like that. And then right here, we're going to just do the same thing. So that's the back of the arm. It's basically the same thing. Then for the face, I am going to need the skin tone and then the pupil color. Not the pupil color, the whites of the eyes. So, I'm also going to need the gray terracotta. I'm going to build out two from the face, so one, two. I'm going to go right one. And then take the black concrete, do four in the middle. Go back to the gray, do two. I do black concrete on either side of that. Take the white, fill in. Go up and then in. I do red right here and right here. Got these bleeding. And then we're going to do the pupils like that. And then this is going to be like his mustache. It's kind of hard to do his exact mustache in Minecraft. So it kind of looks more like a goatee. But it works. It just does. It'll still look like Tony Stark. 
like that. I'm going to do one row of white terracotta on top. Do three, and then two. I'm going to take the gray terracotta and fill in all this. I'm actually going to go up another row like that. So his face should be looking something like that right now. For the size of his face, I take the red and go down. Go back to the white terracotta. Place one right there. Come out two. Go up two. Down. And then I gotta go two right here. Almost made it through the video without a voice crack. Um come back two. And then fill in two behind the head, so like one, two. Fill this in. Gonna bring this facial hair up and back. Actually let me let me make sure. Should be up and back. Yes. Just like that. Switch to the white terracotta. One, two. And then fill this in. I'm gonna do his ear. And then one, two, like we did on the other side. And then we're just gonna fill all this in with the hair color, which is gray terracotta. I'm still um, planning on making the Hulk Buster because that's been suggested for a while. I I think I'll be able to make it. It'll just be really weird. I don't know how to describe it. It'll be it'll be cool looking. If it ever comes out, it'll be cool looking. I'm not gonna make it if I don't feel confident in it. So, anyways. Oh, also the front. I'm gonna fill this in. Like that. Actually, he doesn't, he doesn't have a neck beard. I'm going to fill it in with white terracotta. Like that. For the back of the head, just keep filling it in. The gray. But I also plan on making Thor with like the, the fat suit from Endgame. Plan on making him and like whenever he's in the battle dress with Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. I, if, if you haven't seen it, I did make a Fat Thor. I don't know where he is. That's the one from Infinity War, I'm pretty sure. But I did make a Fat Thor. Maybe it didn't transfer over. I remember making it. I guess it didn't transfer over. I also made like Molten Man and Hydra Man or whatever, but yeah, they didn't transfer over either. I'll have to rebuild those sometime. But next couple of videos, I will have um, Loki and who else? Oh, the US agent. I'll still have that one coming out. But that is basically it for the statue. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, no, it looks all good. Oh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do the glass on this side too. Just make sure I don't miss it. Oh, looks good. All right. Well, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate that. Um. I finally got this one done. It took me a little bit, but I got it one. I got it one. I got it done. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of my other MCU stuff, I will have a playlist at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But in case you don't want to watch it, just go watch some other videos. I got a bunch of statues. This one I'm kind of proud of. The Maestro kind of took me a while to make. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. You guys are great. Bye bye.